Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox the Swarovski D8 Smart Digital Laser Distance Meter, take a close-up look and test it out. So let's go ahead and open up the package. Okay, so that's the package emptied out, and now we're looking at the Swarovski D8 Smart Digital Laser Distance Meter box. So this meter measures up to 80 meters in distance. There is another model that measures up to 40 meters. So this is the longer version or longer range one with the 80 meter distance or 262 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's go ahead and pop out the contents. So that's the laser distance meter or laser measure or laser range finder. It's been known as a few different names. So okay, so that's the box emptied out. Go ahead and set that to one side, of course. Okay. And then so the contents, what we do have is the user manual on the left, a pair of triple A batteries, the wrist strap, and seems to be a belt clip, and of course the laser distance meter itself. So let's go ahead and take a close up look at the user manual or user guide. As you can see, it is quite substantial in thickness. And of course there's a table of contents and it's nice to see that the user manual covers a few different languages. Okay, so we can go ahead and set that down into one side. And next, of course, pair of AAA batteries. Nothing too exciting. And of course, there is a quality or inspection certificate for the laser distance meter. Okay, so we can of course set that down into one side as well. So we've just seen the pair of triple A batteries. Okay, and of course a wrist strap. Okay, set it down into one side, and what appears to be a belt clip. Okay, and set it down as well, and now we can take a look at the laser distance meter itself. And of course, we have to take it out from its protective packaging right there. So as you can see, it is a very simple looking laser distance meter in the sense that it only has what appears to be four buttons on it. And those of you who are familiar with laser distance meters or laser range finders or laser measurers or have been around my channel long enough would have seen a couple of laser measure unboxings and those that have done you'll notice that the previous models have quite a number of buttons on them so this is quite a simplified model but still packing the same amount of features i'm just showing you 
an all-round look around the laser distance meter. So it is quite lightweight and size-wise it is pretty much a standard or conventional size being a handheld variety and of course at the front we do have the laser that comes out from the lens and just a close-up look at the warning there and some safety specifications and at the bottom as well let's take a look there it does say push if we can get the camcorder to focus right there okay So it is quite light in weight and of course made of plastic. So it is ribbed on the sides for nice and good grip. And let me just shift the items in the background more to one side so it doesn't become too distracting to the foreground right here. Of course, let's see if we can attach the belt clip on. Let's not do that right now, actually, because that might impede the insertion of the batteries, which we'll fit into in just a moment. So there we go, the back right there. Side. And of course, the front or top. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pop open the battery compartment. So it does take two AAA batteries as supplied. Nice and easy. So let's go ahead and open up this pack of batteries here. And go ahead and pop them in in the orientation as shown. Of course, replace the battery cover. And then just let me give the screen a quick wipe right there. And then now all we need to do is power it on by pressing on the power button right there. So they are soft rubber buttons or silicone buttons, all four of them, and they're quite large. And you can see the screen is very nice and bright right there with a white LED backlighting and just let me bring it up closer and give it another wipe there's still a few grease marks from my fingers right there and let's tap on the measurement button right there and you can see the screen light up and of course it's showing the reference position as well so let's go ahead and tap on the different buttons. So this, this top button will do measurements. So what it will do is measure distances right there up to 18 meters. So pressing and holding right there will do a continuous read as you can see. That was too close for it, but when I move my hand or fingers away from it, it starts to read again. So there is a minimum distance for it to read accurately. So there it throws up the error again. So if I move my fingers away, there we go. And of course, we can change the units 
as well by pressing on the unit button. Perhaps we need to get out of the continuous mode first. So I've just done that by pressing on the measurement button and then now tapping on the unit button. Let's see if that changes. Okay, so I need to press down on it a little bit more firmly. And now you can see the feet being shown there. Inches. And uh, feet again. And meters, so meters, feet, inches, and feet and inches, and back to meters again. So very simple, pressing and holding will toggle the different measurement units. And then tapping, of course, you'll see that the image change right there. That is the reference or measuring point for which the measurement is showing. So we can measure including the length of the laser distance meter or from the front. So there we go, very simple. Front and back simply by light pressing on the unit or reference button and then pressing and holding will change the units. Okay, so I've now just toggled the reference position to the front of the laser distance meter. And now let's go ahead and measure the distance from here to the wall. Actually, before that, let's go ahead and measure a distance just from the tabletop to where I'm holding the meter. And of course, let's change the unit. So right there, it's showing 10 centimeters from where I've just pressed it, or 0 0.10 meters. Okay, so that's continuous mode by pressing and holding, and then tapping, and then let me get the distance meter to show the correct measurement. So the current measurement, I beg your pardon, would be on the largest display and the previous readings will follow above it. So if I measure again, so that point, 0 0.54 should move up one row. There we go. And then if I take a new reading, it will show on the largest display at the bottom row. So there we go. So all four previous three previous readings, including the current one being shown in the lowest row of the LCD display. Okay, so, and this button here is a indirect measurement or area measurement button. It's a bit more complicated, so I'm not gonna show you that because it might take a while. So that will calculate area as well as height using two reference points from a vertical um, scale. Okay, so just one quick thing is to measure the distance of the wall in front of us just simply by pressing and you can see the red laser beam right there. And that beep will show the reading. So it's 1.718 meters from where I held the laser distance meter. And just let me get the red dot laser in the screen and then pressing again, we'll give the readout with the beep right there. Okay, so very easy to operate with four simple buttons. And of course the clear button will should reset or turn off the readings or measurements that are on the screen. So there we go. So I've just turned it off and turned it on right there. So once again, pressing the 
measurement button. We'll give a quick read right there. And pressing and holding, we'll give a continuous read. And if I tap now, it should block or hold that reading and move it up the screen. Nope, perhaps not. Oh, so it's taking a maximum and minimum measurement right there. Okay, to get out of the mode, simply press and hold. Or simply just tapping the button right there returns it back to the standard reading mode of tapping and then tapping to give you the read of the distance right there. So that's the Swarovski D8 Smart Digital Laser Distance Meter. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.